What is rule resolution process in PEGA? Rule resolution is a search algorithm for PEGA process commander to find the most appropriate rule instance of a rule to execute in any situation. This is an internal background process of PEGA rules process commander. What are the inputs for rule resolution process? Process commander needs below inputs to perform the rule resolution algorithm and to return best match for the situation. One rule key apply to class, rule name and rule type. Example, section class, TP training work ID, PH template. Two users rule set stack, list. Three class inheritance of the current rules apply to class. Four circumstance, property and date. Five rule availability. Six users access roles and privileges. How the rule resolution process works. When a rule is referenced, or need to be executed at runtime, in the application, rule resolution process will first try to locate the instances of that referenced rule in the rules cache. So, the rule resolution process will be executed in below two ways. One rule instances are found in the rules cache. Two rule instances are not found in the rules cache. Rule instances are found in the rules cache. If the rule resolution was already run for the rule, the rules cache has a list of all possible rule candidates. When the rule instances are found in the rules cache, PEGA will follow below steps to finalize the rule and execute. 1. Find rule in the rules cache. 2. Find the best instance and check for duplicates. 3. Confirm the rule is available for use, availability is not set to blocked. 4. Verify the user is authorized to use the rule. Rule instances are not found in the rules cache. When the rule instances are not found in the rule cache, PEGA runs a sub-process, from above flow, to populate rules cache, and once cache is populated then it will find the best match by eliminating duplicates, and checks the rule availability, and verifies if the user is authorized to access the rule. Populating rules cache. 1. Choose all instances with the correct purpose. 2. Discard rules where availability equals not available. 3. Discard inapplicable rule sets and versions. 4. Discard all candidates not defined in a class in the ancestor tree. 5. Rank remaining rule candidates. A. Sort the remaining rule candidates. B. Remove rule candidates with an availability set to withdrawn C. Determine default rule candidate. 6. Set the rules cache. 7. Find the best instance and check for duplicates. 8. Confirm the rule is available for use, if the rule availability is set to blocked. 9. Verify the user is authorized to use the rule. We will see two scenarios in detailed, and how PEGA uses rule resolution algorithm to find the best instance of a rule. One rule instances are found in the rules cache. Let us take a section allocate budget in a service request case. Section will be displayed after inspection review has done in review stage, and allocate budget section is circumstanced with property issue severity equals high. A service request is raised, and issue severity is medium. Below is the user's rule set stack. Rule resolution algorithm will follow below steps, to find the best match as the instances are found in the rules cache. Rule resolution steps in PEGA. 1. Find rule in the rules cache. 2. Find the best instance and check for duplicates. 3. Confirm the rule is available for use, availability is not set to blocked. 4. Verify the user is authorized to use the rule. 1. Find the rule in the rules cache. PEGA searches the rules cache for a list of all possible rule candidates for the rule. Allocate and check for duplicates. From above three instances, 
Pega must pick one suitable rule accordingly. The best instance will be picked up by Pega, where the instance matches with a property or date circumstance or a default rule instance, if no exact circumstances are found. When a rule that matches any of these conditions is found, the rule resolution algorithm checks whether the next rule in the list is equally correct. If a subsequent match is found, Pega sends a message that there are duplicate rules and stops processing. If no other matches are found, Pega prepares to use the rule that matched the listed conditions. In this case, the section allocate budget is circumstanced with property, issue severity equals high, but in the case creation, user has selected issue severity as medium. First instance from the list will be skipped, as the circumstance is high, but Pega is looking for medium, medium is selected in the service request case creation. Second instance has a date range specified as before July 1, 2020. The current system date is July 17, 2020, case creation date. The date range circumstance is not met, so the rule candidate is skipped, and Pega moves to the next rule in the list. Third instance does not have a qualifier, so the system selects this rule. 3. Confirm the rule is available for use. In this step, rule resolution algorithm checks for the rule availability. If the rule availability is blocked, execution is halted. From the above list, third instance is qualified and the availability is available, so the rule is considered and available to run. 4. Verify the user is authorized to use the rule. This is the final step in rule resolution algorithm, in this last step PEGA checks if the user has authorization to access the rule. It checks if the user has the privileges required by the rule. In this case, rule, section allocate budget, have no privileges, so this instance will be selected and executed. Two rule instances are not found in the rules cache. Pega uses a caching mechanism called the rules cache, to help rule resolution operates efficiently. When the rule instances are not found in rules cache, Pega uses multiple steps to populate rules cache, and determine the best instance to select and execute. In the populate rules cache process, we have below steps. 1. Choose all instances with the correct purpose. 2. Discard rules where availability equals not available. 3. Discard inapplicable rule sets and versions. 4. Discard all candidates not defined in a class in the ancestor tree. 5. Rank remaining rule candidates. Below are the steps for ranking process. A. Sort the remaining rule candidates. B. Remove rule candidates with an availability set to withdrawn. C. Determine default rule candidate. 1. Choose all instances with the correct purpose. This is the first step in populate cache process, where the rule resolution algorithm generates a list of all rules that match the purpose of the referenced rule, section allocate budget. Purpose of the rule is the combination of apply to class, rule type, and rule name, TP Training Work Service A Request Rule HTML Section Allocate Budget, but in this step, Rule Resolution Algorithm excludes Apply to Class, and creates a list with Rule Type, Rule HTML Section, and Rule Name, Allocate Budget. In this example, it creates a list with 23 rules, where Section Name as Allocate Budget. At the end of this cache population process, Pega will identify the list of rules, and put them in rules cache. To discard rules, where availability equals not available. In this step, algorithm will discard and remove the rules where availability is not available. From the above list, we have three rules where availability is set as not available. 
After removing three rules, we have a list with 20 rules. Three discard inapplicable rule sets and versions. In this step, rule resolution algorithm uses operator's rule set list, stack, to determine what are the rules the operator can access. Below is the rule set stack for the operator, and operator has service request 02-01 and TP03-01 rule sets in the stack. L section. Each rule in the list must belong to a rule set in the operator's rule set list. Each rule's rule set major version must have the same as the operator's rule set major version. Each rule's minor version less than or equal to the specified minor version number listed in the operator's rule set list. Rule sets which are not there in the operator's rule set stack will be eliminated. In this example, one help and pH rule sets are not listed in the operator's rule set list. After considering operator's rule set list and above points, rule resolution has identified below 11 rules, which are not satisfying the conditions and will be eliminated from the list. After eliminating above 11 rules, which are not satisfied with the conditions, we have 9 rules in the list. 4. Discard all candidates not defined in a class in the ancestor tree. In this step, algorithm uses ancestor tree, which is nothing but rules inheritance. Algorithm examines rules apply to class, here the rule is section allocate budget, and class is TP training work service request to determine if the rules from above list are there in the inheritance hierarchy of the referenced rule section in this case from the above list of nine rules algorithm identified one rule which is not there in the inheritance path below rules apply to class is not there in the ancestor tree of the referenced rule After removing disqualified rule, we have 8 rules in the list as shown below. Five rank remaining rule candidates. In this step, Algorithm uses a sub-process to rank the remaining candidates, by using below three steps. A. Sort the remaining rule candidates. B. Remove rule candidates with an availability set to withdrawn C. Determine default rule candidate. A. Sort the remaining rule candidates. In this step, algorithm sorts the remaining rules in this specific order. Class. Rule set. Circumstance Circumstance date Data time range Version Class, if the apply to class of the rule from the remaining list is closer to the referenced rules apply to class then it will be ranked higher. Rule set, within each class, rules are sorted according to the operator's rule set stack. Circumstance, circumstance date, and date time range are used as qualifiers to further refine the rules. Version, lastly rules are sorted with the rule set versions, to ensure circumstanced rules are not overridden if the base rule is updated recently. After considering the above criteria, 
algorithm sorts the remaining rules as shown below. Row number 4 from above list will come after row number 5. B. Remove rule candidates, with an availability set to withdrawn. Once we have the sorting order, algorithm removes the rules where availability is withdrawn. If the rule availability is withdrawn, indicates that withdrawn version and below. Lower, versions of the same rule, same rule type, name, and class, will not be selected during rule resolution process. From above list, Rule, row number 1, withdrawn, so current version and lower versions of same type, name, and class will be removed. In this example, row numbers 1, 2 and 3 are removed from the list. 6. C. Determine default rule candidate. In this last step of ranking process, algorithm determines default rule. Default rule, is the first rule from the list without any qualifiers, means any circumstances. After identifying the default rule, algorithm removes the rules below the default rule from the list. In this example, Row number 3 which is there in service request 02-01-05 is the default rule, and row numbers 4 and 5 will be removed from the list. Six set the rules cache. After ranking process has done, algorithm sets the remaining rules into the rules cache. In this scenario, finally we have three rules in the rules cache. Algorithm successfully populated rules cache, now algorithm uses below steps to finalize the rule, select, and execute, from the rules cache, this is already explained above, as part of, Rule instances are found in the rules cache. 1. Find rule in the rules cache. 2. Find the best instance and check for duplicates. 3. Confirm the rule is available for use, availability is not set to blocked. 4. Verify the user is authorized to use the rule. Happy learning. Share with others. Sharing is learning.